What's happening, guys? This is the normal tech coming back to you with some long thoughts. Let's play. I'm gonna take this whole meal. Ah, uh, Yep. Uh, if you haven't figured out today, the topic is fission reactors. So we already got our suit on, and I look really big without my helmet on. Um, but we got our we got our uh, hazmat suit going because we're gonna be using that because we gotta carry around some uranium today uh, for the fusion reactor. We can pick up these bones. So um, let's go over the basics. For the fusion reactor, we're gonna need a few things. We're gonna need a fusion reactor, of course. Uranium rods, a control rod, reactor turbine, and a motor. Well, motor for the reactor turbines. And we're gonna need some buckets of water. Um, but that's all I good. So, first off, what we wanna make uh, are reactor turbines. Uh, which, well, reactor, yeah, there they are. Now, reactor turbines are just motor and bronze plates. Really simple to make. Now, the basic setup that most people are saying is use a uh, three by three pattern of turbines above the reactor. You're gonna see this setup at the end. Well, not exactly, but on the wiki it says that there's a glitch in vaults where using a not a three by three set of uh, well, when you put um, three. Uh, when you have a set of three by three reactors and you right-click them with the wrench, they turn into one large reactor. And it is saying on um, it is saying on the Volts Wiki that that is actually less effective than just the regular turbines. So we're just going to use regular turbines, and we're actually going to use twelve of them because of the way we have dug out the hole. Uh, we're actually going to need twelve. So what we're going to do is probably sleep through the night. Uh, that that's probably really wise. Um, we've already started moving some of the machines uh, out of here. If you didn't watch our last video of cribs, you need to go back and watch that so you can see what's going on. We already moved our machines out of here, so we got to go over to the other facility. We are just most of our materials are still in here, um, but we're gonna need to make some more bronze plates, which we already got some of those cooking. We already made three reactor turbines. Um, thought I might as well get ahead and started because I didn't. I wasn't really sure how long it would take us to make all of it, um, but it's not gonna be that hard. We should be able to do it. So we got most of our machines moved over here. We got a, um, this guy should be making uranium, but he's like not working for some reason. We got some more bronze. We need some more tin. Um, we're using the crusher to crush down these ores again, um, mostly because we couldn't be bothered with it. And if you didn't know how to make bronze, you have your metallurgic infuser. You drop tin in this slot and that bar fills up and then you drop a copper ingot in that slot and that will fuse together and make bronze. So we're gonna need some more plates. We're gonna need a lot of plates actually. Um, that's not even gonna be enough. And we should be able to make one more reactor um, turbine. So we're gonna need 12. And while we're waiting on that, let's go ahead and make the fusion or fission reactor. We're making a fission reactor, not a fusion reactor. I'm probably gonna mix the two up a lot. So we need four motors, two steel plates, and two elite circuits. Now, the good thing is we were making some, um, we were making the uh, uranium thing in there, which called for uh, elite circuits, and we actually made too many. And <coughs> <coughs> excuse me, we actually made exactly two too many. I just stopped that, didn't I? God darn it. Um, so we actually have two elite circuits already made, which means we don't have to go through the hassle of making those again which is always good and we should be able to have we should have all the materials to make it we got steel plates elite circuits um, and we got turbines so we should just be able to do this and boom we got our fusion reactor or fission see I told you I was gonna mix it up a lot uranium rods will work on later we're gonna need a control rod which is basically just to uh, to uh, ironing it, so I can't even think. Um, I'm just gonna do that, and um, that's basically all we're gonna need. We're gonna need some buckets of water, and we're gonna need the rest of our uh, turbines. So we'll go do that real quick. What I think I'm, I'm gonna do is one of these uh, probably off episode. I'm gonna set up a rail system that is just gonna have a chest card, so I can empty out all the stuff in that building. And it's going to take a short ride over into that area over there. 
and then I'll probably end up storing everything in here. I probably need to put some doors there, because there have been some mobs running around. Um, get some more bronze. That's working pretty fast. The cool thing is we're not actually losing like any power. Um, they do have 20. Uh, this one's actually losing more power, but they do have 20 um, heat generators going, so working, looking pretty good on power. Looks like we can make one more. I want the motors. Um, looks like we're going to have to make some more motors as well, which motors are just iron, steel, and um, wire. So we're going to need some more steel, it looks like. And that should be alright because I have some cooking away. We'll probably get to a point where I'm going to have to pause this video uh, just because we're waiting on things to cook up, which, you know, that can always take a while. It's kind of a bummer. We need to add more tanks, too. Um, we only got three. Come on, you blast furnace. We can actually make some with... I forget how we make it, actually. There's another way to make steel, which is a whole lot quicker. Steel, um, steel dust, which is enriched iron and compressed carbon. Uh, that still probably takes a long time. Why is it getting so dark in here? Um, got some more bronze ingots. We need to make more turbines. Um, which should just be steel like this. We're only going to be able to make one iron. And we're out of wire, which sucks. Um, we don't have enough wire. Uh, wire is back in the other place. We need to empty off some of these resources. So we can put some copper in here, some tin in there. Um, don't need cobblestone. Put some more copper in there. Run back outside. There's going to be a lot of running back and forth. Um, one of the bad things about uh, the crib right now is when it turns night, if I'm over here, I am not walking all the way up to the top of that mountain just to go to sleep. Though. So I'm, I'm going to leave my bed in here um, just so I won't have to, you know, truck it back and forth all the time. Anything else in here we need? I might need these basic circuits later. All right, so um, steel, one iron, wire, we get one motor, which we needed 12, 12 um, reactors. We got five. So we're going to need three more. Three more motors. Steel is going to take a while, of course. Um, what's the other way? Let's see. That's, that's just still the same. Um... We can make a lot of that, that's for sure. And the other's just from, we don't even have any charcoal or coal, so that's kind of pointless. So we'll just have to wait it out, it looks like. We can make some more bronze. That's actually not. Alright guys, I um, got hopefully enough steel. I'm sorry about that interruption, but um, I went ahead and just paused the video and got some more steel. Which should make enough... Might actually need some more wire, which is very simple to make because we actually have wool now and copper. We can always have plenty of copper. Um, I believe it is still like this. It's always weird. Uh, the wire is made usually in tech. The wire you put the uh, to, in tech to make the wire you put the copper in the middle, um, going this ways. And then you put rubber on these sides and you do it kind of opposite in vaults. And that kind of always screws me up. Why do they have no inventory room? There we go. So we got wire. Just want to do this with it. We got plenty of wire. And we got steel. Then we got some iron. We make plenty of motors. That should be it. That's 12. That's more than enough. And then we need to go get some more bronze. Which hopefully there should be some bronze left. Not exactly sure. We'll just kind of jump over there. But after this we should be able to... We should have everything except for buckets of water. 
which we won't need exactly uh, off the bat. We're going to have to do some kind of weird redstone setup, which I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to do yet. We got a lot of bronze now. Um, that should be plenty, hopefully. Um, should make three more, exactly how many we need. So, no, that's not how many we need. We need a few more. I need 12, I forgot. So let's um, put some more copper in there. And let's, uh, we need to make a thermometer. That's the other thing we need. We need a thermometer, which is um, much like our volts, or not our volts, but our Tekkit um, nuclear reactors. We used a thermometer. We're going to use the same sort of deal here. Why is, every time I log in, it goes in freaking cheap mode. All right, um, thermometer, iron, and an explosive cart, which is steel, um, glass, basic circuit. So we're going to need some glass. Not sure if I have any left, but we can go pick some up real quickly. Some over here. And just use a sword, because, you know, have you ever tried cutting, cutting uh, some sand with a sword? It's really effective, actually. Actually, I'm, I don't really know. Never actually done it myself. All right, so we should actually still. I left an electric furnace in this facility in case we needed to smelt anything, um, which we actually do now because we gotta smelt some of this sand into some glass. So we'll just simply go up here, smelt it some of this stuff up, get some of the stone out of there. Wow, we actually get a lot of XP for melting stone. All right. Um, basic circuit we got that we need a lot of steel and which we're gonna have to wait on steel again gosh darn it and uh, all that other stuff but we don't need we don't need that exactly this second we can come back to that we can set up the redstone first but we need redstone okay I'm gonna keep going back and forth this whole episode seems like it's gonna be a long one um, but I wanna get it set up correctly and all that good stuff so basically what we want to do is we want to have this thermometer set up to uh, well the, the fusion reactor uh, does not turn off with a redstone signal it turns off with a control rod so what we want to do is make a setup that will um, shut off the nuclear reactor when it reaches uh, 2000 degrees now 2000 degrees is when it will explode so make sure you set it below 2000 degrees and I think we're going to set it over here because that's our main power uh, requirement place. And it's going to be all the way down here, which I just fell down, so we're going to have to nerd pull up. I actually have ladders. Wow. I, I, I just, when I fell down, I was like, man, I wish I had those ladders with me. I do. What a, what a real OG. All right. So um, it's going to be somewhere down there. It's not going to be in the middle, but uh, it's going to be all right. Hopefully it'll still work. Uh, it's actually going to be right here. So what we want is probably a block here. We want to have the redstone signal come out here and then um, make its way up to a thermometer that will be placed here. I'm not sure how we have a few blocks to go down. So we'll just make a simple stair step down Which should bring us. Let's see, it came out this block right here. Um, let's see how much further it is down. Should be about here. Ah, so it's right there. Which means that is right there. So the redstone signal will have to come out of here. We actually have plenty of stone. We, we need that control rod, so I don't want to throw that away. Um, what do I have? I can throw this well away, because we don't need it exactly this second. We want it to come out of here. Then we need it to go up. Um, up this way. Then we need it to come... See, this is basic redstone, so it's kind of a bugger to mess with. We need to come this way. Um, up 
this way. We can actually make it come up this way. I think. And then have the thermometer here. And that should work. So we want redstone to come out here. Let's see if this is gonna work. Oh yeah, I think it's gonna work. I think this is gonna work. We want it to be exactly like that. And then we want our thermometer, which we have not made, to be somewhere right there. So when we do activate this, do we have a switch? Can we make a switch? We can. Um, that needs cobblestone, doesn't it? Lever. Simple lever. Uh, we'll get... Gosh, I got so much stuff in my inventory. Just throw that stuff down there. Uh, if we have it right there, boom, it should turn on. And then light up that. Okay, that's good. So, we actually can probably take this back one. Because we need to have a piston here and a control rod. We need to have the control rod there and a piston there. So, like that. And then the piston will push the control rod that way and it will shut off the reactor. Okay. So we got that figured out. Um, this will be all shown in another episode, or it will be shown in this episode, don't worry. Don't fret. Um, but what we're going to do now is I'm going to pause it, get all the materials, we'll get everything that we need, and then come back and sh uh, show you how I set it up. Um, so we'll save a little bit of time. Alright guys, I think I should have everything except for the uranium rods we'll need, which we'll get later. We got the thermometer, fusion reactor, the 12 re uh, reactor turbines, and a control rod, and a sticky piston, which if you don't know how to make a sticky piston, go play some uh, vanilla Minecraft. Um, you should know how to make a sticky piston. Just piston. It's really simple. Uh, they haven't changed that recipe at all. Um, but what we're going to do now is go set this up. Enderman, what are you doing in here? I actually could use some uh, ender eyes. Or you can just go off like a scary cat. Alright, so what we're going to do here is set up our sticky piston right there. Oh, that noise, good god. And our control rod right there. So what we want to happen is, when we flip this lever, we want nothing to happen exactly. Okay, uh, apparently this redstone is at the wrong angle. So, um... God, I hate redstone with the burning passion. We want this to face the other direction. So we're going to have to go like this instead. Do something like... Where's that redstone? I want that redstone. Um, go up here. Go in the wall. Oh god, that's, uh, that's lava. Bad idea, bad idea. Let's block that off. Hopefully that doesn't burn a piston. I probably just messed up our uh, heat generators as well, too. Um, we can fix that. We can fix it. Don't worry. I just made a source block of lava. Alright. Why are you still coming out? Good god. Alright, so we can't like break that block. The piston, yeah, our piston's still there. So we gotta go like this. Gotta go in. We can go up. We can go up again. And that works. Okay. Um, that activated. Yes, it did. So that's exactly what we want to happen. When we want it off, we want it down. And when we want it uh, on, we want it there. So you want to replace this with a thermometer which we made which is really simple showed the recipe before I believe um, so that is set to 2000 we don't want 2000 so what we're gonna do uh, well first you can um, shift click it down so we that's actually really high I think if you use a wrench you can if you use a wrench you can go up and if you shift click shift click not shift click if you shift click it will go down in smaller increments so um, We'll, we'll put it to 1950 because at 2000 it will explode, which is not what we want. 
and what we're going to do is block this off now with some nice pretty looking stone so now when um, I wonder if it'll reach can we go down and uh, see what happens at zero degrees see if it'll go off no it won't go off okay we have a far way to go to get it back to normal well, we'll stop it at 1800 that seems pretty good too not no need to worry with it okay so when that goes off um, it should work we might even bring it down lower for the start we'll take it down to uh, 150 1500 so we got that and now what we want is we want our reactor right here like that so when the control rod activates it will go up against the reactor and shut it off pretty simple now there's no GUI for the reactor um, but that's not much of a problem now what we want is a whole lot of water so I'm gonna need one more bucket of water um, I'm not sure if those guys are still working but we'll, we'll have a reactor hooked up so we won't really have to worry about it that much I don't know why I made so many buckets I forgot about uh, infinite water now there should be a lot of creepers out here I saw them there a second ago All right, we got two buckets of water don't we what a mother bucket of water okay there it is we should be good now um, so basically this is this is how you're gonna set it up it's not much it's really not that hard I make I'm making it look a little bit complicated um, just because this wasn't very planned out on my behalf um, so don't worry that much we're gonna just make a simple little thing that's not even even but oh well this room isn't even which is kind of my fault so infinite water oh, what am I doing what um, yes my bucket so what we want to do is make a uh, surface we want to make this whole area where's my water buckets we want to make this full of water and we probably will have to break that ladder because that's going to affect it um, these buckets need to be stacked too alright yeah we're going to have to break the ladder it probably wouldn't matter that much but we want maximum power um, probably can't break the bottom one now uh... crap okay I'll just swim up yeah alright there's a big war pool in the middle but shouldn't be much of a worry okay 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 let's get back in the game get our head back in the game finish putting in this water we're probably going to need some more buckets here soon. Give me my bucket of water. I didn't even fill up. Uh, water in this update is really weird. Why aren't you filling all the way up? Alright. That did something. That didn't do anything. That didn't do anything. There we go. Mostly done. We can all what? Go back. This water is acting really weird. I never really liked the water in this update. It looks just nasty. It's not even flowing correctly. All right, forget it. That's that's pretty good. So what we're going to do is now set up our turbines all along the top. Now, if you have three of these in a 3x3 three three square, um, like this, if you right-click it with a uh, wrench, it will make one really large, and this is a wrench, they're really simple to make. I, I made it off episode because I needed one. If you right-click it with a wrench, it will make one really big uh, looking turbine that looks really cool you can find images of it on Google because I'm not going to do it 
because it is apparently less efficient and I'm not sure if it breaks if it will give us the separate ones so we're doing that which is plenty of reactors actually we're gonna have to break one because we gotta get down there um, but those are the reactors now we need some wire to hook all these babies up just like this we want wire on each one um, running out of ceiling room headroom I don't want you there just like this and then we want um, wire coming out of the middle just because and to hook up over here to the main power uplink just like that so now we need to make some uranium rods which is why we have the hazmat suit and we're gonna have to work really quick here I might even think I don't think we have any uranium over here actually yep we don't so hello Mr. Skeleton I'm not going out that way now uranium rods are really easy to make now the only problem is I'm not sure if it gives us radiation poisoning I know the uh, refined ore does well I don't even think it's just refined uranium I know that gives us radiation poisoning and a lot of it which will break our hazmat suit in the time it takes to get there so what I'm hoping is um, that we won't have to worry about that so I'm gonna make some space get rid of all these buckets make some space because we gotta grab this uranium run to a crafting bench you want three grab that run to a crafting bench before we die and then it's simply like this refine uranium rod um, we're gonna go to sleep I think that's affecting our suit yeah that is okay we're gonna put that in there go to sleep and then hopefully no mobs have spawned and we can run and place this in a chest very hurriedly um, before we die so three two one go 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 we gotta run 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 and there's a sheep out of the pen can't even deal with it because I gotta run to the reactor before we all die um, because this uranium rod is very potent and it will kill us all yep already broke a suit um, something is broken not even sure what it's too late to find out we gotta run we gotta run we gotta run there's not even a chest to put it in um, we just gotta run down what we gotta do is just right click with it and it'll go into the reactor core it probably isn't the best way to do it but hey we're doing it this way and we're alive um, well, it looks like the hazmat suit just repaired itself somehow. The reactor blades are spinning up. That actually looks amazing. Um, must be said. We gotta power this one up real quick. Okay, that looks amazing. Utterly amazing. Oh, this isn't gonna. This isn't gonna work. This isn't gonna work. Turn off. Turn off. Turn us off. Um, I screwed up. I screwed up. Give me this control rod. Okay shut off shut off um probably none of you have seen my mistake I just made the thermometer is actually not in water so it won't even be able to uh, test the temperature of the water so what we gotta do is move the thermometer and place it in the water so we'll probably just put it here ish um, and we'll put it there take it down to it might have to be surrounded by water so we'll put it there and we will, where's our redstone? Do a little bit of this. And just for safe measures, do that. And that should work, hopefully. There's one way to test it, and that is to get it high. So, we'll probably need to put a torch down here. There we go. Um, we'll put it down to about a thousand to make sure 
it works and we need some stone so we can patch our way out um, not even sure if audacity is still recording one second alright guys it was working but uh, I took them few moments to uh, get the rest of our uranium over here made a few rods so what we're gonna do now is grab one and then go throw it in the reactor and see what happens so boom going down we're gonna throw it in the reactor um, apparently it gave us some back so it doesn't use the whole reactor or uranium um, so it's moving down there if we can see we'll go throw these in the chest because we don't need them um, but if we go take a look down here, which what I should do is get a piece of glass. We have some glass. Make a look a little looking hole down here so we can see what's going on. Which I'll probably go back and make this all look nicer. Um, and that's going to break up our redstone. But this thermometer should be lighting up. Um, should be being the keyword. I'm going to break this and then have to replace all of our redstone um, but you can kinda see the reactor over there spinning up which is a good sign now what I'm gonna do is pull up a thermometer on the wiki see what it has to say about it uh, of nearby blocks will stack up temperatures from all adjacent and display it and will also shoot out redstone signal when the temperature detects um, okay so that doesn't say much but basically what it's saying is it measures the temperature of all adjacent blocks um, so which might mean that the temperature is displayed on another side so we're running out of hazmat suit but we should be able to take a dive down here and see what's going on we picked up that uranium rod again for some reason let's get that out of here before we all blow up our suit is really taking a beating but it's not showing a temperature for some reason um, but hopefully it works it looks like it's still moving a little maybe maybe not maybe that uranium rod has to be down there maybe we just screwed up everything uh... there goes the rest of it okay apparently the armor regenerates yeah i think we turn off the reactor Let's see what happens now yeah it's spinning up again so um... yeah guys that's the reactor there is probably a 99.9% .9 chance that this is going to blow up after this video, but I'm going to stop it here because it's been a long episode. That's your basic setup for the reactor. Um, it looks a little sketchy to me, and it probably will blow up. Um, but I'm going to save this world and make sure it doesn't blow up. If it does, I'll probably figure out what happened and reset it. But this is the setup that is out there on the internets. Um, no reason why this shouldn't work. Um, but yeah guys this should be getting a lot of power we can go up and check real quick sorry about the length of this video but you know we're making nuclear stuff nuclear physicists probably go to college for like 18 bajillion years and work for like one year and then they all get shot by a terrorist or something that, that doesn't even have power that's why it's not working so it's actually powering this one As you can see we got full power um, don't really have anything to throw in there at the moment um, but we got full power. Yay. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe to the Tekka Project. Alright guys, I know I signed off in that video, but um, I did some toying around with. I wasn't happy with the original setup. Um, the thermometer should have been displaying the temperature, and it wasn't. So I was a little bit afraid, so I toyed around and came with a setup that works. So what I'm going to do now is show you. So what I did is I simply dug a little hole down here that goes below our little reactor chamber and set this up so now you can see the thermometer actually displays the water temperature now uh, for the thermometer to uh, I guess 
have the temperature of the fission reactor. You have to place it next to the fission reactor. So our thermometer is right below it. This glass is just here so we can actually see what the number says. And then right below it we have some redstone uh, connected with our sticky piston with our control rod. And this is just as a, as a oh shit lever. In case shit hits the fan we can just turn it off manually. So um, I have it set to 2000 degrees or 200 degrees sorry. So what we'll do is we'll turn it on and let it heat up to 2000 degrees. As you can see the turbines are spinning up and um, it's warming up quite quickly and you'll see when we hit 200 degrees that it will activate the piston and then the reactor will cool off kind of spastically it will cool off below 200 and then come back on then cool off then come back on then cool off then come back on you'll see it see it there there it goes right now it's cooling off coming back on cooling off and that's what you want a reactor like that will not blow up which is safe so that's what we want so what we want to do is actually um, bring this up to 1800 because that sounds like a pretty safe temperature to me we got 200 degrees of headroom uh, just in case it hits the fan of course um, so yep we just made that little tunnel there and then to put uh, new uranium cells in what we did is we took off this turbine because it didn't want to spin there's two aren't, that aren't spinning that one in the middle and the one that was right here they didn't want to spin um, probably just a glitch so I just put a little trap door and some ladders down there and from here we can put in uranium whenever we need I believe there is radiation poisoning around the reactor so you gotta watch out and we just simply get up by doing this little glitchy thing and um, yeah there's some way we get up I did it a second ago you gotta, yeah there you go kinda just glitch out so that's a safe reactor setup it works we get power we get paid, we get money, so um, don't do it like I did before, it will blow up eventually. So this is the little tech coming back with mistakes like I always do. I want to make sure you don't fuck up like I do. So, yep, seeing you later.